Schleiman, Betty Boop Boopy Doop. Oh, this wig was driving me crazy. I had to draw my eyebrows on twice. Are you ready for me to show you how to get some Betty Boop makeup? To get started with our Betty Boop look, first I concealed my eyebrows. I'm going to do a separate video, but for now you can watch the Queen of Hearts videos because I show how to do that in there, or my Chola look video, I show how to conceal the eyebrows because we can draw her crazy ones in. So um, we're going to do that, and then we're going to put a heavy cover of concealer all over because we want it to look really one tone all over just like a cartoon like she did. I'm going to be using um, the Cover Effects Foundation. I love it because it covers tattoos, everything. I will put that all over my face and then I will show you step number two. powder my whole face to lock our eyebrow ceiling in. So to make our eye look more kind of open and round, I'm going to put a little bit of white underneath. Round to the eyes with the white. Don't mind how crazy the eyebrows look. I'm going to take a black liner and we're going to make the eyes look as round and circular as we can. Now I'm going to attempt to draw her eyebrows in. Don't forget, you're gonna take your black eyeshadow. I'm just using Carbon from MAC, any black will do. And I'm gonna go over where I went with the eyeliner. That way the color won't come off. Now I'm gonna apply the lashes. So first I need to curl my own lashes and put mascara and then I'll be right back. Remember, we're gonna put mascara on but only to the tops, so not to the bottom, because we want that little white strip to show up. So I'll do that and then we'll come back to show you how to put your lashes on. I got this eyelash kit from Walmart. You can find any that have top ones or use two sets of top one on the top and then use the top set, put them on the bottom, just flip them around the other way. So I'll put these on and be right back. I glued the lashes really far down so they're really curved. They're not under my eye shape. They're curved on the top and curved on the bottom. I had to cut the ends because they were so long. Gone. Now comes the fun part, the mouth. And she had a little tiny little buttony mouth so we're going to make it look really defined. I'm using Cherry Lip Liner from MAC. Cherry red. Now I'm just going to take my black liner and draw this peak. Now that I have the eyebrows, I'm going to just draw on some chunks of her curls because the wig kind of doesn't make it look as cartoony as I want. So we'll try with that. I'm just using Makeup Forever the Aqua Liner because it's waterproof and an angled brush. lovely wig caps and this is the official Betty Boop wig. Watch as we put it on. Boop Boop be ugly. This wig is looking horrible. I'm going to take a round brush and try to get him back into shape because he is looking awful. black cream liner and your angled brush and go over the areas we went over with the pencil and it'll just make the black a little bit more punchy so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Off. I'll tell 
you how very carefully. I know you're used to only seeing me in black and white, but I'm here in color. Take two. Now I'm in boo boo booty black and white, just like I was in my cartoons. <laughs> what kind of costume you should dress up as? Maybe you should be a dancer, maybe a singer, maybe you should be little old me. Boo boo booty Betty Boop. I hope you guys like this Betty Boop look as much as I do. It's super fun, very 20s and flappery, Betty Boopish, and I just love it. And I hope that you do too. See you in the next video. Bye. Well, because you never really saw her teeth. <laughs>